Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, did you miss me? Cause I missed you, beautiful people. Now you see, I was gonna stop doing this series after the last one, however, it does so well, and I'm always getting constant comments telling me to do another one, and I would just be a bad YouTuber if I ignored those. So BAM! Part 3, baby! I still got some stories to tell. Now, the past couple stories that I've told you were more like either life-threatening or could have like harmed my like reputation or grades or life in some sort of way. However, these ones are just things that I've done and that are just completely stupid. So, uh, let's get into it, you and me. So this story takes place um, after high school, I was living at home with my parents while I was looking for a job, which easy job, not having to pay rent, perfect time of my life to start smoking a lot. And all of my friends had gone off to college at this point, so I had zero social life and all I had to do was, um, well, you know, that. It was riveting experiences. However, there was a handful of times where things got a little bit more exciting than sitting on my counter eating a pizza at negative 30 miles an hour. Both of my parents worked during the day and I was in between jobs, so I thought to myself, you know what, you're doing a great job. You should reward yourself by smoking and taking a bath. And I'm like, good idea, brain. So I go upstairs and I start running the bath. Um, and before that, I took the biggest rip you could possibly imagine. And after said big rip, I got very hungry. So I went downstairs and went into my kitchen and opened my fridge and realized we had nothing. We had yet to go to the store this week. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to go to the store. So I go to the store and I get a bunch of bagel pizza bites, some hot pockets, you know, the stuff that you eat when you're extremely out of it. And then I went to go check out. And I don't know if anybody else does this, but uh, when I'm in public and I'm like super zooted, I try and pretend like I'm not like I try and seem as normal as possible for people but when I try harder to look normal I end up looking uh more high because I psych myself out and then start making less sense so I go up to the register and the woman working goes how are you doing tonight find everything okay and I'm like yeah pretty normal right well in my head I thought she knew I was fully convinced that this woman knew exactly how high I was and she was gonna tell somebody so in an act of desperation I quickly go man it smells a lot like weed outside like it's really annoying right like i hate that smell thinking that that would like make her think like oh wow we have such a good christian boy here today here sir take all this food for free but it just ended up with her going uh yeah okay sure any anything like that ever happened to you guys no okay also another thing to note uh something that i've learned while working in customer service uh People who work in customer service do not care about you. If you are high as hell, they don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> Just a quick little thing that I've picked up. Anyway, after narrowly escaping the store with my life, I head back to my house, ready to snack down on some immaculate sustenance. I grab all my groceries and start heading into the house, and I open my door, and I hear a very loud noise. I look up at my ceiling and I see that there are small little droplets of water coming from my ceiling. I proceed into my kitchen where it is just cascading water through the ceiling. You know those water parks where they fill a giant bucket full of water and then it dumps it on top of everybody? It looked like that was in the process of happening, but inside my house, like literally like pouring, it looked like a waterfall. And I am so high, I was like, kind of like really confused like i thought i was like imagining it so i like leave the house and close the door and open it again and re-walk in thinking i'm gonna like okay maybe like i have to reset reality real quick maybe my hard drive got corrupted i don't know but no i walk back inside and it's still just flooding with water and so to the best of my ability i run upstairs and quickly try and turn off the tub that was in the process of overflowing so much water quick little lesson for all of you uh my kitchen is directly beneath um my bathroom with my tub so what was happening is the water was falling onto the floor seeping through the cracks and leaking out from the ceiling of the kitchen. So I turned the water off. Thankfully, the water didn't get past the bathroom. The bathroom was pretty big, but in that bathroom, it was just water, water everywhere. Not to mention the massive atrocity that was downstairs. So I run around grabbing every towel in the house and just start throwing them on the floor, hoping I can sop up as much water as possible. I end up kind of being able to dry the bathroom, but 
The worst was yet to come with the kitchen. I legitimately mean this when I say every crevice of the kitchen was covered with water. All drawers that were filled with cooking supplies and utensils, full of water. The tops of the cabinets, even inside the cabinets holding other cups, water. The floor, even which included a carpet a couple feet away, completely drenched. So I do my best. I roll up my sleeves and in my fit of haziness, I try my best to clean that kitchen. And to my credit, I did a pretty damn good job but it wasn't enough because i could not get it done before my parents came home yeah i got in a lot of trouble for that have you ever tried to like reason with your parents when you're under the influence or even talk to them in general it's really stressful especially when they're angry at you in my brain i'm like all right buddy uh, keep this simple uh, try and tiptoe around the fact that you're high as hell. Don't let her know that was the main reason. So she looks at me and she's like, what could have possessed you? Like, how on earth do you forget to turn off a tub? And the best possible excuse I could come up with was just, uh, forgot. If given the physical capabilities, I'm pretty confident my mom would have beaten me with a fridge. But you know what? I, I probably deserved it. Good times, though. Good times living at home. Anyway, that's my story. See you later.